Kawhi with his first bucket. Oh, a T on Kawhi! It is. Ladies and gentlemen, your eyes don't deceive you. What you just witnessed was three technical fouls handed out in the span of five seconds, with two of them going to a single player, resulting in an immediate ejection. How crazy is that? Three technical fouls also equals three free throws, and uh, if you were wondering if these extra freebies affected the end result, then uh, here's the final score. Yeah. You know, NBA referees are supposed to be impartial when they're on the court. They're supposed to officiate games fairly, cleanly, and with no bias whatsoever. But it just seems that as of late, they've become the ultimate cheat code. I mean, you can't defend against them, you can't outscore them, all you could really do is pray. Pray that they're on your side for the night. Otherwise, look, you could even get a technical these days for passing the ball to them. Sheesh! Now, ain't that the most egregious thing you've ever seen? This is getting out of hand, guys. The NBA referees could literally ruin everything. When it comes to how refs have been ruining games, I don't think anyone said it better than Fred Van Vliet, so you guys gotta hear this. Ben Taylor was terrible tonight. Um, I thought that on most nights, you know, a couple of the, you know, out of the three, there's one or two that just the game up. You know, and it's, it's, it's been like that a couple couple games in a row. Um, Denver was tough, obviously. You come out tonight, you're competing pretty hard. The third quarter, I get a bull tech. Changes the whole dynamic of the game, changes the whole flow of the game. I wasn't able to find out exactly what happened between Van Vliet and Ben Taylor in this particular game, but apparently half of the technicals Van Vliet has received for the season so far has come at the hands of Ben. I don't know about you, but there seems to be a bit of a bias there to me. Anyway. If you're wondering about what happened in Denver, let me show you, and trust me when I say that this one is pretty bad. So in the fourth quarter, with 30 seconds left to go, in a one-point game, in the clutch, Jamal Murray lasered a pass into Gordon, who then got fouled. The whistle was immediately blown here by the ref for a foul on the Raptors. Well, Scotty Barnes didn't think that was a foul, so in his frustration, he did this to protest. And it's gonna be on Jakob. And it's gonna be on Jakob. Uh, here's the crazy part. So at this point of the game, Scotty had zero technical fouls. Zero, okay? But Scott Foster didn't care. He had all the power in the world at that time and threw Barnes out of the game with just one technical. How crazy is that? Sheesh, guys. Barnes is the reigning rookie of the year and he literally just got tossed out of the game for this. Also, what ended up being just two free throws turned into three, and just like that, it went from a one-possession game to a two-possession game, and the Raptors ended up losing. But uh, if you thought that was crazy, wait until you see this next one, which is about the Memphis Grizzlies superstar. As you can see, John ja Morant here is just casually talking to a fan sitting courtside. It was an away game, but apparently she's a huge Morant fan and was even wearing a sweatshirt. But then, for some odd reason, this ref decided to go crazy and, uh, he gave Morant a technical. That was his second technical of the game, which means Morant was consequently thrown out of the game at the end of the first half. That was soft, that was harsh, and that ruined the game. Especially for that fan who shelled out thousands of dollars for those courtside tickets. This was bad for the game, it's bad for the fans, and whichever way you want to look at it, it's just flat out bad. You know what's awesome about this incident, though? Ja actually got his dad to run over with his phone for a FaceTime session with the fan, where Ja personally let her know that it wasn't her fault that he was kicked out. What a nice gesture. Anyway, that ref was on a power trip, but so is this next one. You see, in a matchup between the OKC Thunder and the Dallas Mavericks, SGA easily got through the Mavericks' defense for an easy bucket. Well, at this point in time, Luka was frustrated, clapped loudly, and said, Let's go, man. Let's go to his own teammate, Dwight Powell, but then uh, he was called for a technical. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. What has the NBA come to? How the heck can this happen in the best basketball league in the entire world? I mean, motivating your teammates can now turn into a technical foul? Well, the Mavericks luckily won that game, but imagine they lost by one point. <laughs> Things really would have gotten out of hand if that happened. And speaking of hand, check out how this hand gesture here ruined the game. As Scotty Barnes drives to the basket, Tatum fouls him, which then turns into a three-point play. 
it was close to the end of the third quarter with one full quarter left to play in the game. Well, Tatum obviously didn't like that call and just waved his hands in displeasure. It doesn't look like there was any hatred or anything malicious about that at all, but uh, believe it or not, that was called for a technical. And uh, it must have been a second tech because just like that, the one superstar in the game was tossed out. My goodness, guys. The arena was filled with thousands of people who paid good money to come see a star like Jason Tatum play, only for the refs to get him tossed out for this. Anyway, not too long after that, in a different game, Tatum again gets hit for a technical for guess what? Clapping his hands. This dude literally just clapped his hands out of frustration because, according to his own words, I think I just missed a layup and I just committed a foul. Anybody in the arena, anybody watching the game could have seen that I was frustrated with myself. I didn't say anything. I didn't look at him. See what I mean when I say that the referees could literally ruin everything based on how they feel for that day and whether or not they want to win the sixth man of the year? Hilariously enough, Durant later tweeted that this was the worst tech he's seen in a while. <laughs> anyway, here's another ridiculous one. In a Warriors-Timberwolves matchup, after Jordan Poole got a sweet bucket on one end, Draymond got on the court, danced, and just cheered on his teammate. That's literally all he did, nothing more. You know, to my best recollection, NBA players do this all the time. Like here, for example, and here, and here. <laughs> well, anyway, guess what happened to Draymond? Yup, you're right, he was teed up for this. <sighs> the crazy thing is, this technical didn't get rescinded, and as a result, Draymond eventually got suspended for one game for going over the 15 technical foul limit. And that game happened to be an important one too, against the Hawks, where the Warriors lost because of their lack of defense. Anyway, are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? It just seems that in the NBA today, you can't talk to the refs when you're passionate about the game, you can't throw a bounce pass to them, you can't disagree with their calls, you can't talk to your fans sitting courtside, you can't motivate your teammates, you can't wave your hands off, you can't clap, you can't celebrate, and you can't dance. Isn't this all pretty crazy? I mean, I'm not even blaming the refs for their missed calls, like the LeBron James one, because it's honestly really hard to see everything that goes on in real time. But this whole technical part and ejecting players and them refs power tripping is just getting way out of hand and is actually affecting the outcome of games. It's just a matter of time before this ruins a game seven in the playoffs. You know, Adam Silver did recently say that the league is holding refs responsible, and here were his exact words. We don't publicize discipline for officials. We don't think that will be appropriate, but their assignments are affected by the quality of their calls, whether or not they progress into the playoffs, and then round by round is impacted by the accuracy of their calls and their demeanor on the floor. So there is a system for overseeing and making those judgments about officials. Then uh, for a second, the NBA world actually thought that Fred Van Vliet's best friend, Ben Taylor, was demoted as punishment for his calls on the Raptors guard, but it seems like that was false as the NBA referees responded on Twitter saying, this is categorically false. The schedule for the games referenced was released weeks in advance. Ben Taylor is a part-time crew chief and frequently receives referee assignments throughout the season. His positional assignments remained unchanged. Anyway, I know I said that I don't blame the refs for missing some calls, like that LeBron James one, but this next one is one of the worst non-calls I've ever seen in 20 years. Look, Anthony Lamb here gets the rebound, then gets obviously pushed from behind and knocked to the ground. As a result, he turns the ball over, but guess what? That wasn't called a foul. And instead, the Mavericks ended up with the possession and this actually turned into a three-point play for them. I'm still shaking my head at that one. 